The first thing an SF5 player might notice about Third Strike Alex is that 5 swapped his close jab and Stain Strong animations. Stain Strong is one of Alex's main cancels. It comes out quite quickly and goes into all of Alex's comboable specials. It's his best normal for empty cancels, too. His only other cancelable medium is close forward. It's a bit stronger and has more active frames, but it's a bit slower. They actually both list as 14 damage in training mode due to rounding. But you can see forward is a bit stronger in the same combos. Notably close forward is a proximity normal. That means there are some ranges where stand strong will hit and be cancelable, but if you hit forward you'll get far forward. So it's good to be aware of these ranges, especially after a parry. Be aware that Stain Strong whiffs on some crouching characters. Alex has no cancelable heavy in this game. Stain Pierce is an overhead with no combo potential. It's got decent range and speed, and it does really high damage and stun. It also ground slams if it catches them mid-air. I'd call this one of the best overheads in the game if we're only counting the ones you can't combo out of. Far forward is probably his best poke. The damage and stun are nice, and the range is good without too much of a hurt box, but there's not much else to it. Low strong is alright, but it's really not as good as his SF5 low strong. It's faster than his far forward anyway. Low forward doesn't go quite as far, but it's an actual low, which is otherwise a very weak area for Alex, so you'll probably find yourself hitting it a lot. Steranos can be ducked by a lot of characters, especially from afar, and it's very, very slow. The damage and range are fantastic, though. It knocks down on midair connect, which gives you some cool juggles you'll never see in a match. Crouch Roundhouse has good range and high pushback, but it's generally slow and sometimes unsafe. It's good in certain matchups. Towards Strong is a command normal that's a very good poke. Great hitbox and lots of active frames, but again no combo potential. Towards Fierce is his Lariat. Unlike SF5, this normal is not useful at all. The hitbox isn't great, you can't combo out of it, and there's basically no reason it should ever work as a mix-up. You can anti-air with it okay against some characters, and that's probably its best use. His only other command normal is Back Fierce, which is a very strange attack. It's a hit grab. It's blockable, and it's unsafe on block. And it can be ducked and whiff punished but it does decent damage and insanely high dizzy. For this reason, it's not too bad after a parry or as a punish. It's also unparryable, which means if you do this even once on the opponent's wake up, even if it doesn't work, they're going to stop the wake up parries really fast in the fear or hope that you do it again. I have nothing much to say about his air normals. Jumranos has very good range and is generally the one you use all the time. But Jump Fierce has a bit more vertical range, which can be useful for hitting people under you. Alex generally has no cross-up in this game. You can sometimes get a wonky cross-up short on really wide characters, but there's no combo from it, it's really unreliable. Air Down Fierce is his flying cross-chop. It knocks over if you land it as an air-to-air, -air, and if you're somewhere close to the corner, it leads to a juggle. But it's very slow in this game. It can be parried on reaction midair. And it's very unsafe on block if used on grounded opponents. This normal is generally really bad, so most Alex players almost never use it, but it does alter his jump arc, which is something. You can whiff jump strong over the opponent's head if you just want to land and throw, but you'd rather empty jump so you could parry. Alex has two target combos, but even a lot of Alex players don't know them, because unlike all other target combos, the cancel is just frame. The first one is low short low forward, and the second one is low short low roundhouse. While the short does cancel early, the two hits don't even combo, so this one's not as good. I think the idea was that Alex gets really awful damage off of raw lows, but has a good overhead and throw presence, so they want to make his low presence expert only, but really it just makes him kind of jank. Low short can be special cancelled, but almost none of Alex's special moves are fast enough to combo from a light normal. Yes, I'm serious. You can cancel into EX knee, but it's very unsafe and unconfirmable. 
To be honest, I've never seen an Alex player do this in all the time I've played and watched this game, and I didn't even know it was possible until I just labbed it. His only other combo from low short is an instant cancel into SA2, which is even more expensive and even more unsafe. Alex has six special moves, so it's going to take us a while to go through them. Half circle back punches his command grab, a power bomb. Light is faster with more range, while heavy is slower and stronger. There's no EX version. Even light is 7 frame startup, which is kind of slow, though they're still great for blowing up block and parry. Getting out of command grabs is a nuisance in third strike, since there's no invincible backdash and wake up parry is too good to stop doing. So most people kind of allow themselves to get command grabbed every now and then, rather than trying to read them. Be aware there's a little throw invincibility on wake up and third strike, so you have to wait for it to end. There's a lot of good tick setups. Jump jab is very common. One block light normal is common. A point blank low forward is common. And a high connect jump fierce is common. The damage and stun on Power Bomb are good, so it's great for opening up someone who's turtling at high dizzy. This happens frequently for Alex. All versions of Flash Chop are safe in this game, so you can cancel into them with impunity. Close forward into Light Chop is a very common low risk string. And it's Alex's main meterless combo after a jump in. In fact, Light Chop is his only meterless ender at all. Medium and Hard Chop cannot generally be comboed. Hard is slightly slower and slightly stronger, but they're mostly interchangeable. Both of them cause a back turn, which will allow you to link things like close forward, stand strong, or EX slash elbow, depending on range. If you do his power bomb after a back turn chop, it will turn into a suplex with a side swap and much higher damage. Back fierce also combos on back turn. It turns into a sleeper hold, which is a mash throw with very high dizzy. Mash throws aren't that great in 3S since an opponent can shake up very quickly, so you should usually link into a normal or do the suplex. Unfortunately, medium and heavy chop have very few setups, so they're both nearly useless. If you're doing them in neutral, a good player will just parry you on reaction and then kill you. But Heavy Chop is very good after a Dizzy. And Medium or Heavy Chop can be used to maximize damage after some parries. You basically get the damage of a jump in from these. EX Chop is slightly faster than Light Chop, does better damage and stun, and knocks down while being safe on block. This is probably Alex's single best use of bar, so go wild with it. Medium and Heavy Flash Chop can cancel into Super. This is nice but unnecessary for SA1 and SA2, since you can also just link the Super, but it's imperative for SA3. EX Chop also cancels into Super, which obviously only works with SA2 since it's his only multi-bar Super. It barely adds any damage over normal into super, and it costs most of your meter, so it should only be used for confirming or if you're about to kill. Frustratingly, Light Chop does not cancel the super, and it's the only one you would really want to be able to super cancel. All versions of Chop remove hits from fireballs, although there's no reward other than slight meter gain, and you can just get the meter by parrying the fireball instead. EX Chop can enormously help Alex get out of Aura's unblockable setups. You'll get hit, but there won't be enough hits left on the fireball to give Aura an unblockable, and you'll spend less meter than he does. Word of warning, certain crouching real hurtboxes can make Light Chop whiff. Meteorless Slash Elbow is pretty slow. Light is only minus 2 on block, and hard to parry on reaction. But medium and hard are more reactable, and they're both minus 8 on block, so certain characters will be able to punish them. Remember, an attack being reactable in 3S sucks, because people will just parry it. All three let Alex approach, but the pushback means that they'll only get him most of the way in. 
And you can't really combo into it without meter. EX slash elbow has a hit while it's traveling, so it's generously faster than all other versions. It's generally unreactable, though that varies based on how far you're traveling, and it gives Alex some much appreciated full screen presence. It's really good for whiff punishing stuff. And you can combo into it. It's a pretty good ender, but it requires charge and EX chop doesn't, while EX chop is stronger, so this is usually only better for the range or the corner carry. The first hit of EX elbow cancels to super, which can be good for punishing from afar. All other slash elbows super cancel too, but since you can't combo into them, it's generally useless. EX elbow is minus 6 on block. Most characters can't punish it, but be aware of the few who can. However, the second hit is reactable and has a consistent timing. At the highest level of play, people will red parry the second hit on reaction and punish you, so this tool becomes a liability against good opponents. For the record, that also applies somewhat to EX chop cancels. Knee Smash has no hitbox at all against grounded opponents. But it does nice damage as an anti-air, and it knocks down. But it's parryable, and it's only a single parry. And in general, it gets stuffed by most jump-in normals, so it's mostly useless. EX Knee Smash is a hit grab that does work on grounded opponents, although it's rarely Alex's optimal route. Knee has a couple combo applications, which I'll talk about later. Air Stampede is minus 3 on block for all versions, including EX. It's not too hard to anti-air, though. It can cross up, which gives you some pretty obnoxious mix-ups at a low level. Which is especially good because they loop. And there's some cute variations as well. But, this whole special move is destroyed by a simple option select. If you time your block to the last few frames, it'll be a block if they land on one side, but a parry if they land on the other. Once the opponent is good at this, it's almost impossible to use any version of Stomp against them. It works regardless of which direction they pick, too. EX Stomp tracks, which means it'll almost never cross up. But it is nice to give him some full screen presence against fireballs, which can help him a lot in some matchups. Finally, Spiral DDT. This is commonly considered to be one of the worst special moves in the whole game. It's an unblockable, unparryable grab, with button strength determining range. But it's not fast, and it fully whiffs on crouching or airborne opponents, and it has a reactable, punishable recovery. Pretty much the only way you can get this to land is reading an opponent's high parry. Alex really is airborne, so I guess you could use it to bait 360s and stuff. There's no EX version. Now, some general notes. A common ATR with Alex is option select parry into stand strong. You can actually cancel it into an EX knee smash if you're close. This combos, it's two parries instead of one, and it does good damage. Crouch Fierce is a decent anti-air too, but it's really slow so it's not as good after a parry. If you time it right, it's got a good enough hitbox that it'll beat a lot of jump in normals clean, or at least trade. But it's really bad if it gets parried. If you get only one hit of Crouch Fierce, you can juggle into a knee smash. Alex has a Kara throw off of Towards Fierce. Alex's natural throw range is already the second best in the game, and this is a really good Kara throw. It keeps the opponent on the same side, which is nice. Alex isn't really a combo kind of character. If you've got no meter, your basic punish is close forward light chop. 
If you want to spend meter, you can go into EX Chop for the damage and stun, or maybe EX Elbow for the corner carry. These are also your ideal combos after jumps, parries, or almost any common punish. In big punish situations, you can get a medium or heavy chop, and then one of the previous combos. But if your chop is far away, you might need to skip the intermediate normal. Heavy chop into suplex does more damage than chop into his other meterless follow-ups. In fact, it does more damage than a jump in, but you might not like repositioning yourself. A well-timed meaty universal overhead can link it to stand strong or stand forward. I'm not exaggerating when I say Alex really doesn't have that many other combos. Here's my take on Alex's supers. Pause if you need to, and feel free to disagree. Alex probably has the worst selection of supers in the whole game. All of them are awful. Hyperbomb is a command grab that connects on the second frame. You might think that's pretty fast. The motion is a 360 rather than a 720, so it's pretty easy to do it on the ground. But actually, the opponent can hold up after the freeze to escape it. And then they can come down on you with a full jumping combo. This makes it horrible in neutral. It theoretically gives you a punish on any attack that's minus 2 or worse, which is a lot of attacks in 3rd Strike. But most attacks have enough pushback that SA1 will fail to punish, so it's really not good at all. If it connects on a back-turned opponent, like after a medium or hard chop, it plays a different animation and does more damage. As I said before, it's pretty hard to land a hard chop against a good opponent though. It's pretty good after a parry, I guess, but so is Super 2. It's fully invincible on startup, so it's a good reversal. This super only has one bar, and it's the maximum length the bar can be. This means you can't really use EX moves at all, which is annoying. This super is expensive, hard to land, and generally should not be used in any matchup. Boomerang Raid is the only super you can conventionally combo into. This pretty much makes it Alex's best super right off the bat. Additionally, it's the only super which has two bars, which means it's the best super if you just want to use EX moves. This is an extremely valid decision for Alex, who has OK EX moves and terrible supers. You can pretty much use it in place of lighter EX chop in any combo. Most Alex players don't use it much except for dizzies, punishes, and after parries, but there are a few setups. It's fairly easy to combo into it after a medium or heavy chop. It's also possible to confirm SA2 off of a few jabs. Unlike Shoto's, this won't start from a low so there's no mix-up to it, and it's weak to parries in either direction since both stand and crouch jab can be parried low or high. As I mentioned earlier, you can cancel a raw crouch short into super if you want good damage off of a low. Just remember it won't confirm so you're doing it on a guess and a prayer. It's pretty fast so it's your best hope of comboing out of a high connect jump fierce. Doing a cancel to EX chop is safe and will give you enough time to confirm a super cancel. This is very expensive though. It's actually possible to raw confirm SA2 off of a close forward. You do medium kick and roll double QCF every time, then only hit the punch button on reaction to a hit. It's tight but doable. Close forward makes a nice media already since it has lots of active frames and it beats reversal buttons or jumps. As I showed earlier, cancelling EX slash elbow to Super 2 makes for an excellent, if expensive, whiff punish. This doesn't work with his other supers. SA2 is invincible, and a true reversal. Although if you use it like a reversal, it will often get a spaced connect. If it hits from far away, Alex SA2 will actually fall out and be unsafe on hit.
As you can guess, this is extremely annoying. There are some other annoying things about Super 2 as well. It forces a side switch, which can remove the opponent from the corner. The pushback is extremely high on block, which means this super does almost no chip and can be punished by a full jumping combo every time. Although, in the corner, you can catch people with this gimmick if they've never seen it before. And Alex has to use EX moves to do normal to special to super, which makes comboing into SA2 needlessly specific compared to most characters. I'd still say this is Alex's best overall super in all matchups. Just save your meter for EX chops and EX elbows. Alex SA3 is a command jump. If he lands on you, he does an unblockable grab that dizzies you instantly. They made this into a special move in SF5. Which button you use controls the range Alex jumps. It actually does so much dizzy that it will re-dizzy most characters who are already stunned. Alex gets dizzies quite often in neutral, and if this happens it will basically end the round. It's one bar. That means whenever it lands, Alex has no meter. As usual, his damage optimal follow-up is heavy chop into heavy suplex. But if you want to keep the corner, I guess you do this combo, which is only barely weaker. Generally speaking, the only way to combo into it is a cancel from medium or heavy chop. Unlike SA1 and SA2, you cannot link the super after the chop, you have to cancel the chop, which means the chop will not confirm the super. You need to already know the chop is going to hit. You can also combo it from anti-air elbow, but Alex has no setup for that, so it'll probably only happen incidentally. Like SA1, if Alex does this raw, the opponent can hold up to get a jump in punish on it. But unlike SA1, it will grab opponents who are in the air if they're pretty low to the ground. That means you actually cannot jump out of this setup. This makes it very hard to escape. Backdashes are not throw invincible in this game, so most characters can't dash away either. You can forward dash to escape it, which works fine for most characters. But Alex can deliberately use the wrong version of the super to catch a forward dash. Of course, if they don't forward dash it whiffs, so dashing to escape the super is a 50-50. Alex has quite a lot of invincibility on the way up. But, and here's the nail in the coffin for this super, he can be hit on the way down. Alex has a very hard time comboing into SA3, which means in 99% of cases you can just interrupt it with some anti-air. This makes this super almost impossible to land against a good opponent, and makes all those elbow setups into gimmicks. Most characters have some attack to hit Alex coming in at this angle, and I'd study up, because being forced to respect this super is awful. Technically speaking, this super offers more damage than his other two in punish combos, but it's already very rare to find hard shot punishes in most matchups. And in scenarios where you can't land a back turn chop, his punishes are mediocre compared to his other supers. More practically, this super will allow Alex to chase down certain attacks he struggles to punish otherwise. The most notable one I can think of is Oro Stomp. Even considering that, I'd say you shouldn't use this super in any matchup. There's really no way to use this super well, and it offers Alex very little EX meter to use. Stick to Super 2. 